plastics to try. These are the Z-Men 10X Tough grubs uh, in Bloodworm. They're three and a half inch. Um, yeah, and I've got some TT jig heads, uh, one sixth ounce. So yeah, I might rig one of those up and then I'll show you. Okay, sweet. So that's rigged up now. So yeah, it looks like it's got awesome colors and uh, it should swim well. Let's just have a little look at how it swims. Yeah, that swims really good. Okay, sweet. I'm just going to pair that up with some S Factor scent. So I'll do that right now. This is a new one I bought today. Just take this little cap off. And yeah, you just want to have a really good coating of that all over it. So I've done that. So I'll um, put the S factor away and start fishing. All right, first cast. So I'll just check my drag and everything. Back it off a little bit. First cast. Oh, little fish, little flathead, I bet. Oh, what do we got? Yep, tiny little flathead. Okay, that is a tiny flathead, I'll just show you. Yeah, so he's just had a real big go at that. These ones are pretty, pretty spiky. Just wanna, just wanna get him off carefully. It's a very small little fish. And there he goes. All right, first, first cast, one fish. So that's not bad for this Z-Man grub. So I'll keep going. All right, second cast. Gotta watch those birds. Let's go. So that's just landed. I might let it drift in the current a little bit and then I'll start the retrieve. Just to get a little bit of extra distance, there we go. It's only a little. Just that extra. Just that extra probably three meters. So yeah, a little flathead again, I reckon. Oh, a little pie. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, so check. Check this bike out. <laughs> this bird really wants him. There he goes. Sorry, birdie. <laughs> okay. Third cast, two fish so far with this Z-Man grub. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very impressed. 
with the way this lure swims and just the way that light shines off, off it. So, now I've got a little friend here, this bird. He wants to see what fish I catch. <laughs> So yeah, this guy just came over when I caught that fish. It's a pretty awesome bird, really. Just a, just a fish catcher. That's pretty awesome. All right, I'll keep going. Okay, so that tide is moving in very quickly now over the flats. So I won't be able to fish out here for too long, but there's a heap of this this weed, and I don't know what type of weed it is, but it's really making the fishing difficult because it gets tougher on your line. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep flicking along this bank here. Hopefully, as the tide picks up this weed gets carried off um, but yeah I don't know what this weed is or what time of the year it comes to Morton Bay but um, yeah, it definitely makes the fishing very difficult um, so anyway I'll get my get my little Z-Man bloodworm three and a half inch grub out there and let's see if we can get any more fish Ew. all right here goes so the incoming tide's starting to push over this sandbar here, so I might just go to the back section of it and throw this lure. There's a heap of weeds, so yeah, it's going to be difficult, but that's okay. I'll just keep getting the weed off. Um, it's just part of the fishing today, I guess. So yeah, I'll keep working this grub and I'll work it back along this bar here. Yeah, just see if I can get any fish. And um, yeah, I can feel the weed on that already. <laughs> so this could be difficult. But anyway, all right, I'll turn it in for hook any. Okay, so there's way too much weed around, like every cast. I'm basically reeling this in, so I'll have to call it a day and head back out tomorrow.